So, for the next part, we will have something on this corner here. We have a bubble. You will be seeing the modification. Applause for yourselves, guys. Well, well done. It's not easy, but we can do it. We can do it. Have a chance. Yes. We'll post my sweat tip. You can tag me. Actually, let me also do it. Tag me. Oh my god, it was fun. And it's still going. Ah. It's a pleasure, guys. Richmond saying good stuff, the Krita Kori saying strong fire explosion. I call this the body smiling. Yes, yes, yes. Our community is growing, is growing, getting stronger and fitter. So remember, it's this corner. So you will, if you have a bubble, you can use it. I'm trying something new. So I will be doing the same exercises, but with dumbbells. Okay. Can you hear me? Sure you subscribe. We're going to use the heat timer of 30 seconds on. Rest 10 seconds. So you see it? It's there. First one is just deadly. All right. <laughs> so I, I recorded it earlier. So just to show people that if you have a, a, a bubble, you can equally do the same exercise. Beautiful. Rest. Now, don't remember the next one. Okay, I think I, it's bent over road. Let me start on this side. Bent over road. Brenda for the wonderful words. Indeed, it was awesome. The body is also smiling. Beautiful. Let me increase the lighting. Looking dark. Okay. Next one. So it's deadlift. You come upright and then you do upright row. Then forward deadlift. Come upright. Upright row. Beautiful. Next one. Okay, I think <laughs> I forgot the exercise is the order. So bent over row and then to upright row. Beautiful guys. Keep going. You got this. If you have a barbell or a down or dumbbells, you can still follow along with this workout. So this is a body pump, upper body challenge. So you just do as much reps as you can. Beautiful. Ooh. Yes. Now we're going to. Okay, bicep. Bend, bend to the road. So make sure you bring your elbows as high as you can. To the back. So the good thing about dumbbells was bubble is that you can go a bit far. So the range of motion and the muscle activation is much better in dumbbells than in bubbles. Yes, and also when you have a bubble, 
one side would be doing much more than the other. Let's go. Bicep curls. Stop control. The descent. So I'm not plating the gravity pull. I'm controlling the downward movement. So actually breaking is also working. We're going on the ground. Don't remember. Okay. okay, hammer curls. So for dumbbells, hammer curls, you do them palm facing one another. Like this. Bubble, you are really not doing the hammer curls as they should. We are going down on the ground. Next one, we are going to work chest press. So lie down flat, bend your legs, then you're pressing overhead. Once the elbow touches, you start the reverse movement. Exhale one. The hands are up here. Now, next one, we are going to soul crusher. So you twist, you rotate. And then you bring the dumbbells together and then you just okay, I see full pressure. So full pressure is from this position, bend the elbow and extend. So I did not have enough time to put the names. We're going again to chest press. So wide, wider than shoulder width apart, and bring them down. I see that uh, with the bubble I'm doing narrow chest press. That one works with the triceps. But let's continue with the dumbbell presses. We're going again to so now you bring the dumbbells together, you do narrow chest press. We have to switch because the previous one you are supposed to do this. Okay, you, are doing, uh, you are doing chest press, which I'm now doing with the bubble. So you will really feel that the upper body going to be challenged in a good way. Beautiful. Yes. So now it's just shoulder width apart, dumbbell presses. So you keep the bump, the dumbbells parallel. Yes. I think we stand up. Let's stand up. Yes. Bent over rows.
have a wonderful productive day, Brenda. And well done. It was a pleasure having you. And she's saying, don't forget to keep the video a thumbs up. Yes. So next one. We're just doing hammer cows, dumbbells, facing shoulders or palms facing one another. upper body, the shoulders, so, up, overhead presses, so I'm trying to synchronize the two, and so you push the chest to the front like this, so that your back is fully straight, and you press overhead, make sure that you're looking where the dumbbells come to end. Now, you do bicep curl and then overhead press. And then, okay, deadlift and then bicep curl to overhead press. Deadlift, bicep curl, overhead press. Virginia, thank you for supporting the channel. Now we are going again to bend over rows. So you bend forward, touch knees a little bit, and then you pull. Seconds, guys. All right, we're going to bicep curls. Let's go. as much reps as you can. Still have under 8 minutes to go guys. Come up right, do bicep curl, and then to the front. So notice the back is straight when I'm, there, I'm here. Keep the back straight, you can bend the knees slightly, and do the bent over row. Even though you're using lightweight, you really feel the volume. The high volume helps strengthen the body and also challenge the cardio. Let's go back on the ground. 
Dumbbells here, yeah, you have dumbbells, you need the elbows where they are, and then you bend the elbows, and you bend the elbows here. like the previous one so with the dumbbells let's add some rotation so once you're here Hold up. you have rotated and when I pull up. leave the dumbbells yeah, and they like become part of it think I got what so you need but I have no I feel freaking I'm handsome part of it Going to bend over rows, palms facing the thighs, bend to the front, then bring your elbows as far as you can. Almost there, only two minutes to go. Wonderful. Now we are doing so you go down and then you come up to upright. So it's deadlift and squat. So this is a good exercise to you know how to put something down 
using the leg muscles. Some people go like this. No. So you do deadlift, and once you can go down no more, you bend the knee, you come upright, bend the knee. Beautiful. We're almost there. Our workout is almost finished. So now you just do, you stay here, just hip hinge, not going far like we were going in the previous exercise. I know the body is enjoying the challenge we are giving it. I'm also feeling it because I did it twice. need the second time also. All right, final one. I think it's hammer curls. So, so you stop halfway and then go all the way down. So notice when you have to stop, the spring momentum immediately goes away. break is coming so we don't need the dumbbells no more you can put them away a short break of one minute why is it getting too dark so the clouds yes 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 Thank you so much guys, let's hydrate before we continue. Join Junior Aaron, thank you for supporting the channel. Betty and Claude clapping. The body is smiling guys. It has to feel as if we are climbing a mountain of this so enjoying the workout. Thank you everybody who is here enjoying the workout, gifting themselves a dose of movement. All right, let's get into our last, last and final five minutes, which is going to be stretching. So lie down flat on the mat, bring the palms below the shoulders, extend your elbow and then push your hands into the ground. Notice the toes are like this. So this is a good stretch for the abdominals. down, push into the child pose. Straighten the knees, and now we are into downward facing dog. So now do as if you're walking. All right, let's stand 
stand up. Put the hand to the wall and then turn away. Now we are stretching the pectoral side. Hello, hello. Yes, yes. All right. Yes, okay, it's still working. Now we are going to do shoulder rolls to the back for 15 seconds. So you elevate the shoulders and then you push them to the back and then you lower them. Let's go to the front. Namaste. If it's your first time on this channel, make sure you share with one or two people to help me get the message across. And uh, yeah, it was a pleasure having you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure having you all. Have a wonderful week. Claude Joseph saying bye-bye. <laughs> Winnie saying, thanks Coach Remy, Claude Joseph saying, sweaty, fire, 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 explosive. So the body enjoyed this workout. Thank you so much Winnie for the kind words. And uh, yeah, so how was the intensity guys for you? Was it, I want to know on your side, was it challenging or was it too easy? Let's see. This was good, thanks. Hello, Claude Joseph. Laquita and Corey saying, this was good, thanks, coach. All right. Richmond saying thanks coach mom saying thanks all right guys thank you so much it's a pleasure having everybody here have a wonderful week have a wonderful week don't forget movement is the only gift we can give to the body the only medicine without side effect yes yes the intensity was just right for me except for the puppies. <laughs> puppies are like the best home workout exercise one can do. So we, we cannot escape them. 
workout was extra late, says Claude Joseph. All right. Great workout. Mom saying thanks. Density was good. A lot of fire, fire. Okay, guys, thank you so much. The last message is not yet coming in. All right. There we have it. Richmond saying fire, fire. Thank you so much, and uh, continue to have a wonderful, productive week. And uh, on Wednesday, that's when we will have the next live workout. And then the next one on Friday, and then Saturday. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening or afternoon or morning, wherever you're watching from. Bye. Bye bye. I am saying bye.